Gosford Park 2001 movie review. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I want to do a little movie review on a movie called Gosford Park from 2001. Now, technically it's a basically like a classic murder mystery at a mansion. A bunch of guests show up for a hunting party and then eventually someone gets killed. That's basically why I was interested in this movie. But this movie is a straight up drama, hardcore drama. Uh, you know, when you look at the IMDb description of it, it's like drama, something, something. And I think it says action slash mystery. There is little to no action or mystery in this. And the mystery isn't even, it's kind of like a, uh, something in the background. I've never seen such a drama laden movie in my life. I understand this seems like a, a movie for like older women. I don't want to hate on anybody. You like what you like. If you like it, you like it. Uh, maybe I'm just a young dumb guy. I don't know. But this is totally a movie for old women. I'm sorry. The whole time the maids are just gossiping about stuff, random stuff, nothing makes sense. Like they're inviting famous people over, but they don't even feel famous. They're just, there's just so much gossip going on and then like, you know, uh, midway through, like randomly, like the maids are having sex with like somebody in the house. I don't have a problem with that, but it just didn't make any sense. You know, it just seemed like old women want to just sleep with these famous guys and like look at famous rich people come over to the house and gossip about them. You know, it's like that was literally the whole movie. And then as far as the murder mystery, I mean, it doesn't happen for like an hour and like 15, 20 minutes. It should have been about 40 minutes, but this movie isn't a mystery movie in my opinion. It's a drama. Nothing was interesting to me. Everyone's just talking dramatically about stuff, complaining about stuff. He said, she said the whole time, you know, but I was invested. I was waiting for the murder mystery. When the murder happens, it gets a little bit more interesting and then it sizzles right out into the drama again. I mean, even when they call the detective over, the girl just steamrolls him tells him everything, doesn't listen to him, basically gives him orders, talks over him. And I'm just like, in what world is a, is a murder detective gonna come over and just like let you push him around as, as like a, a lady of the house? I, I don't know, it just, I just didn't buy it. Anyways, guys, I'm a huge fan of mystery movies. That's why I reviewed it. You're gonna probably see a lot more mystery reviews on this channel because that's one of my favorite subgenres. But I mean, on top of there being drama laden, who did it and why they did it just to me made no sense. It was just, it had something to do with the bickering, you know, he was adopted and he had a kid and the kid got taken away and it was just like, nothing ever mattered enough. I'm just hearing all these like dumb dramatic things that seem like they don't make any sense. Maybe you would be nice to rewatch just because you know who did it. And so maybe there's some sign of them doing it earlier, but even for me studying it the whole time, and maybe this was because I wasn't into it, nothing really made sense. Like I would, I would literally have to go watch a description of how this whole ending took place. You know what I mean? Cause it just, I don't understand all the points. And again, it's just old ladies gossiping and maids getting with famous people in the middle of the night. It's technically a mystery movie, but it's not a mystery movie. The only things I could say that is good about this is it does feel like a pretty decent period piece. Now, Peaky Blinders blows this out the water for how much better it looks for the 1930s, how much realistic. But I do think it was pretty well done. Like I didn't, I didn't really get any vibes that this was a newer movie. It really felt like an older movie. Everyone's hairstyles looked like it fit the time. I actually did enjoy Ryan Phillippe in this one. Now, just to see if there's any kind of hints of who did it in the beginning, I'll be very interested to see, but probably the worst mystery movie I've ever seen. And I almost wouldn't label it a mystery movie, but. Anyways, guys, let me know what your favorite mystery movie is. Is there one that you really like that I should check out? I'll be very interested to see. I think I've seen most of them, but I'm, I haven't seen every movie ever. So there's probably at least one I haven't seen. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate it so, so much. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.